this is pretty much my morning routine. One of the things I do before I leave in the morning, which has kind of turned into a ritual, is look at that girl every morning, you know, and hope to see her again today or tomorrow, but her one is about four times that size. That's the drive. That's what wakes us up in the morning. That's what's better than this cup of coffee. There's no one what's out there. So, let's go. Let's go get her. That grander, that 1500 pounder, you know, that 2000 pounder, which has never been caught on rod and reel, that can happen out there at any given moment. And that's what makes me drive this road every single day to the boat with a smile on my face. And a beautiful morning on the Cotton Coast. Sun's rising. Fish are gonna start biting. I'm marking fish all over this point right now, so we ain't going anywhere. That's a, that's a marlin. There it is. I just marked that one too. I showed him, I go, there it is. That was uh, about 150, 180 to the tagger. We got some deep blue water out here right now. Um, coming out, we marked some fish here and there. We're, we're one for two on blues right now. A couple spear fish around, seeing some tunas. You know, no reason to, to leave fish to find fish. Nice going guys, the way everybody transferred and did everything. Good job. Practice right Good there. job. Potential here for the biggest fish in the world is, is extremely possible. I mean, this is where the two biggest on rod and reel have ever been caught in the world. You know, 16, 56 Bart Miller's fish here off Kona Coast and then uh, 1805 Choice Monster over in Oahu. It just it gives you chicken skin, you know. There's no retirement in this business. It's uh, pretty much gonna drive off into the sunset and I couldn't be happier.